Well, it does not get more real than this right here. Final piece of financial document, our cashier's check. The first month's and last bit of securities before uh, to get our keys. So Sarah's gonna take this with her when she flies tomorrow and she'll land and go to the office and grab our keys to our new apartment. Good morning, Good morning. moving day. The girls are here to help us pack. Are you ready, Jamesy? <laughs> they were too kind and brought us. Oh my gosh, I did not expect them to look like this intense. intense. What is that? Thin mint? Yeah. Oh my word. And then this one is the vegan one. It's made from like fancy potatoes, fruity pebbles. Yeah. Yeah. And a whole another box. Delicious. I'm happy you got two of the Fruity Pebbles because I was just thinking that Peter and I were going to have to fight for that one. <laughs> Look at these shirts. Sarah just told me uh, what she filmed or not filmed, but you can't good to see be mine. home. Me. And I also brought, um, I got bagels from Duncan and they brought Everglazed. I haven't even seen what these look like. They're pretty intense. Oh, <laughs> what? was beautiful. We were the first people in the store. <laughs> Did Sarah tell you that we're basically not doing any work for the next hour and a half? We're just chilling? Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. Cool. Okay, the boy's being a cutie pie. Chewing on his hand. See Elvis? And watch a new girl. And we're about, I'm about to cut these up. How many shots of this vlog can just be the donuts? <laughs> <laughs> All the shots are just the donuts. <laughs> What's great is so these, there's two of them, so we each get half of one. Wow. That's the best one. So it is the best is it? one. These do look better than Voodoo. I know. Like, you will not want Voodoo, but these are good. <laughs> Guess what I finally did after weeks and weeks and weeks of saying I would do it at nighttime? I also tore apart our bed frame, and this is finally a secured underneath. And the weirdest part about this whole thing is Megan and Katie, one of them is going to brought to bring me to U-Haul to pick up. Our truck, I never did the math to figure out mathematically if a 20 footer is enough. I just stubbed my toe so bad. Right. <sighs> Where's my hat? I already have to go. Over here at U Haul, picking up the truck. Some last minute supplies. Looking good. Holy cannoli. So we got a 20 foot truck. Still nervous, it's not gonna be enough space. But look, they gave me the full-on car port, auto transport, not the two-wheeler. So that makes me happy, but it's also way bigger to maneuver. I'm a little nervous on getting that detached at the apartment. So, but the only way to figure it out is just to go. So time to go. All right, first, uh, P.S. There's our building, we've never shown it. Um, truck, I made it back, but now I have to get this thing detached and ideally put in this parking spot, then I don't feel bad about taking up, keeping the truck here, hopefully. There's enough space here for people to get by. Um, this will be fun. I almost wonder, I think this thing is big enough, I should probably attempt to back it into a spot. This is gonna be interesting. Whew, 30 minutes later. That's not the cleanest park spot, but I really don't mind as long as I'm taking up that one spot. And this truck is here, and since it's blocking this, it's fine, I think. There's enough space there for cars to get through. That was a, little, a wee bit stressful. I'm not a, I don't, I didn't grow up with boats or pulling trailers all the time, so the whole left, you, left is right and right is left thing was, whew. Tetris. <laughs> don't ever tell me to hire movers, but I'm probably gonna hire movers next time I move. But, look at that. You took, it's one of those things where it's like if you took a, a pin out, the whole thing would blow up. Yep. But we're done now. We're going to say bye to the peaches, cry a little bit, get our sweat and tears on each other. And then Grant lands in like less than an hour. Yeah. Are you starting a moving company? I think we should. <laughs> All right. Yes. Meg and Sarah can be our like the business, like the business side, the mm -hmm. designers, the accountants. I don't want to do that. No. Just making me sweat. Yeah. I'm down. I'm oh, getting ready to say goodbye. He's got a big old Peter noggin. Said, Kids are durable. Kids are durable. <laughs> Alrighty, 
we are at the airport to pick up Grant to finish the rest of our packing. And Jamesy boy, he is asleep. Um, but he's about to meet his first uncle. It's a big deal. We also have to get COVID tests. We have to get COVID tests, yes. That's our next stop and then back home. And nephew's sleeping. <laughs> Hi, vlog. So this is extra fancy. We had to register on our phones and scan a barcode. I quit. <laughs> I, I know I really I don't want to do this either. So this is this whole like little piece of paper we got and then we had to put all our info in so that they could just like send us the oh, info. No video recording in this aisle. We are all very happy because it was not the bad test. Speak for yourself. <laughs> And it's, a rapid, and it's a rapid test. <laughs> and it's a rapid test, so we'll, so we'll get... We'll 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> I was more concerned that Grant was going to throw up from... He's got from a bad his... gag reflex. Yeah. And it's funny because I feel like Luca does too. <laughs> no, Luca just makes himself <laughs> gag. There's a difference. James started doing that though. Sure. He, he does this. <laughs> oh! Yeah. He's but he's that's just... what Luca does. <laughs> he puts his two <laughs> fingers all the way back. <laughs> but James is like trying to chew his fingers and he yeah. accidentally does it but <laughs> Luca might teach us it and teach him his way. Feel great. <laughs> I won it. I won the battle. <laughs> I won the race. <laughs> We're not even home yet and all of us have tested negative. Thank goodness that would have been that would have been a curveball. <laughs> did we say that we have to have it to go to the DMV on Monday? We didn't. In Chicago, like you, the stipulation is testing because we're coming from an orange state. Yes. Also, with me and the flight, they want you to provide it or quarantine. But it's not right. awesome. That's your uncle, Jamesy boy. What's up, Let me wash my hands. Oh, he's so happy. He's <laughs> like, you look like my dad. You're a big kid. You're not this newborn anymore, dude. <laughs> you got long legs, dude. Right? Some of his jammies, like, they fit his, like, like flamingo. body, but they he can't wear them because he's too tall and his feet are too big. Things are progressing. Things are getting wild. Things are getting very wild. But we have Hamilton on to coax and calm our nerves. We got Jamesy boy in the kitchen with mom. I literally just threw every every veggie in the pot with some curry powder, some coconut milk, and we're gonna have it with rice. I think I'm doing it with this everything bagel seasoning on top. Hey, girl, how's it going? We're stressed. We're stressed. For for we're stressed about space. Oh gosh. We might have to make two trips. So far, apartment's on the second floor. We were bringing the couch out. And the cushion fell. <laughs> but it doesn't look damaged, but the front of the couch may have gotten scoffed. How are you feeling, Grant? Good. We haven't exhausted a lot of... Have you sweat a lot? No. Neither have I. Um, we're getting close. But we have a plan. A lot of tchotchkes and boxes are going to go there. We have a spot for here. We've got a spot for the dresser. We just want to get the mattresses. Can't forget that. In the morning. I'm just dreading my computer work tonight more than this. We gotta get sleep too. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, we gotta go to Publix. <coughs> it was not a smart idea for Grant and I to come. Throw it in. Oh, and the BOGO. Okay, I don't know. I don't know whose smart idea was to send me and Grant to Publix ready for a road trip with all the BOGOs. There's our Publix hall with 25 pounds of dry ice. Here's my cute baby. Hey, dude, I haven't seen you all day. Um, we decided that Grant's gonna do his work that he needs to do. And Sarah and I are going to finish getting like, because it's down to like, we just need to put all this junk in boxes and I have to do some dishes and finish boxing up the kitchen. So well, according to Grant, we didn't pack, pre <laughs> pre pack officially enough. It's 11 o'clock and we're still packing and we still have to take showers and still have to edit. No, I'm, not, I'm not editing. Sarah's going to edit, but we're getting there. Help me. One last late night oven time chicken and pub burgers from Wendy's. It is 3.20 in the morning. Sarah's flight leaves. We have to leave to bring Sarah her flight in. Less than three hours? Yeah. But hey. We got it done. Well, done. mostly. Yeah. Little things here and there. Sarah took a picture of the messages, so she's going to do the message. Yes. 
Grant is not going to drive with us to the airport tomorrow. <laughs> Evie needs to get out. <laughs> um, and so he's gonna wrap some things up here and hopefully they'll go get on the road at a decent hour. Um, but here's the message. Always trust your gut. It knows what your head hasn't figured out yet. Anonymous. All right, sorry to deal with Eve. Um, so we're gonna get a long nap. And um, I'm just, it's funny, Sarah's nervous about our level of tired for the drive and I'm nervous that we're gonna oversleep our alarms and Sarah's gonna miss her flight. Now I think that we have our own personal alarm clock down here that won't let us. I truly do. <sighs> Guys. It's time. Our last night in this apartment. I think our biggest promise was here was that we would bring home a baby. We are. And we did. But it's been the perfect adventure down here in Florida. <laughs> Crazy With dog. our crazy dog the whole time. <laughs> Who needs to get comfy? We love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here with us through all of our adventures, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And I hope you all continue to join us as yeah. we have more adventures in Florida on right. vacations. We had this mentality starting this daily channel to just make the ordinary extraordinary. And we always said it doesn't have to be Walt Disney World for you to do and enjoy what you love every day and we're about to prove that right. Mm -hmm. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.